Hey, good people out there. Tommy, your easy choice painter. What do we have? We have another whole house to paint. And for the same customer I painted the last house for. They're real big about music. Real big. That's a big old piano. Old style grand piano. And this is really cool. Look at that. Overgrown violin. I plug the strings and it sounds just like a bass guitar, this cello here. But I'm not touching that. But I'll move everything else around. She don't want me to touch that and I don't blame her. It's very personal. But anyway, we got this room here and it's all downstairs. 800, oh, excuse me, 900 square feet downstairs. 900 square feet upstairs. So let's just do a walk. And we want ceilings, walls, and trim done down here. And I've already run the trim. And like right here, my little trick I show everybody that if you're going to paint the trim but you're not doing it now, it's okay. You can go ahead and do the wall. But before you do, make sure to run this edge nice. That way it's so easy to cut it in right here. Real super easy. Now back in the day when oil paint was a trim, you might have had to hit it twice when you did the wall to cover the oil. But these days it's easy. So uh, there's a trick for you. Got the stairwell. Got my eight foot ladder here and it does reach the top, thankfully. And what a top it is. I'm gonna have fun around that light. But I can handle it. Anyway. Let's do a walkthrough. This just a tour before. And she had carpet here. Must have had some water problems with the washing machine or something. But anyway, she wants to paint that floor. And I said, that's fine. But it's good to get up all the loose that you can. Prime it in some kill toll base. And then paint the floor. And you won't have to worry about it. If you remember, some of you might. But I actually repaired all of this because she had a water leak and it was all messed up. The frame was still there, but I was able to drywall it and fix it back the way it should be. This is funny. You ever seen this? Upside down pipes. Look like eyeballs. But anyway, I've got this laundry here. And then she wants to do the same thing with this floor because just like I said, moisture problems. It's a basement, you know. That's why she carries the humidifier down here. She has a humidifier working. But once again, scrape all that loose up, prime it in oil base, kilts, you know, primer, and then let that dry. And there is a smell to it, but the, you want the, if you're going to paint the floor, you want it to stay there, the paint, and not come up. So we ran all this base yesterday. I did. I'm doing this alone, which I love. I don't mind. Got a little bathroom in here to paint. Still moving some stuff out. She's actually moving into the house that I just painted. Well, let's go upstairs and take a tour. I don't think they're here. Got to keep the cat from getting downstairs. Okay. Bathroom here, ceilings and, excuse me, walls and trim. Ceilings are good. So we're doing walls and trim. And here there was some handrails because uh, somebody here had trouble, you know, walking through here. And so there were some handrails through here. And I took them all down and mudded them. And that was something there. And like I said, when you mud, you don't worry about what it looks like. You just mud it and then you can sand it down. But let's start with the grand tour. We started with the bathroom, got a bedroom here. Don't want to shove too much of their personal stuff. Another bedroom, two bedroom. Very, very nice kitchen and dining room together. Dining area. And I'm just gonna be running walls and trim in here. There's the paint. And then we will have the living room. And like I say, they're big about music. So who knows? Maybe I'll make a hookup with them. And there's their little cat. But anyway, time for me to get busy. This is Tommy, your Easy Choice Painter, Common Sense Tips and Tricks. Thanks for hanging with us, folks. Have an awesome day. I'm ready to get started. Catch you later.